Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Carver County in Minnesota as Sean from Long Island Audits attempts to audit another courthouse. Only this time, he doesn't make it past the front lobby. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy him being rejected. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today we're at the Carver County Justice Center here in Minnesota. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants respect our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we just passed through the metal detector over here. We spoke with two court officers who are extremely nice. We we're talking about Aaron Judge's 62nd home run. Law library is a lower level. So this is the Justice Center here in Carver County. Doesn't seem to be many people in here. Court administration. So we just had a good conversation, so hopefully nothing crazy happens here. They seem like pretty nice guys. Are you recording? Excuse me, ma'am? Are you recording? Yes, ma'am. You can't record. Why can't I record? Who who are you? Do you work do you work for what department? Just one second. Court administration? Yeah, I don't see anything. There's signage all over. I haven't seen one sign since I walked in here. Well, apparently you're not looking too hard for it because it's right on that window behind you. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hey, sir? Yes, ma'am. There's a signage, like right here, that says the cameras. Where? Cameras and voice recording devices may not be used in any courtroom. Okay. Hey, I don't mean to bug you, just so you know, you're actually not allowed to record out here. And there's the there's the thing from the judges, so I just want to let you know I'm not jamming you up. What's that? I know he's still recording, but yeah. technically it's a contempt of court violation if the judge doesn't want to go after you. So I just want to let you know. So I would ask License you to attorneys. Yep. I'll let you read that, but you do need to turn off the phone. Thank you. Cell phones, electronic tablets. I'm not in the courtroom, though. Keep reading, though. It's still on there. Any court administration area. What's what's considered? It doesn't express, it doesn't specify what's a court administration area. You can actually look up top. It says court administration. Oh, okay, so in those areas, then. Anywhere that's considered court administration. So I do need you to turn off the phone, please. Thank you. The whole building is considered court administration area. Everything on this floor is yes. Anything that's court related, yes, here. But there's county, there's court county offices here. Yep, and I didn't say that. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm not. It says near. I'm, I'm reading it here. Near. Uh, it's very ambiguous. The language near any. I'm a journalist. I'm just gathering some content no, for I a story. That. So we, actually, it's funny. You know when Prince died? No. Prince died a few years ago, and all the media had to come here. They actually were not allowed to record in here. So they had to get special permission from a judge to even record inside. Anything that comes in here. When Prince died, why would the media come here? Because he, he had court actions that were here. As oh, okay. As a state and oh, were probate in, court. People yeah. were interested in his circumstance. So. Okay, gotcha. So anything that includes court administration or in front of the courtrooms, which are down this hall and on the second floor down that hall. So this would be considered some type of common area, so as long as I'm not next to a courtroom? Nope. This entire floor is court administration or court. So I'm telling you this entire floor is. Okay, if you want to go walk around downstairs, be my guest. If you want to walk upstairs, courts are all that way. So that is where you're at. So. Yeah, but Any it other, says, it says I'm, it's used. It's, I'm, it's, not, I'm, I'm not looking to cause a I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not trying to, you're the one, listen, I'm not trying to. I just gave you that. I, I'm, and I'm reading what you gave me here, and it says, okay. in courtroom, hearing room, or grand jury proceeding, or in, or, or in any other court facility, including areas used for court administration, what is, okay, but I mean, I don't, I don't, this is not, I'm not, I'm in a hallway. I don't have any better answer for you. He may not have any better answer for you, but in the next few minutes, Sean will hold up the paper to the camera, and I will be able to direct you to the better answer. But this is a hallway. So, 
It's a hallway. <laughs> That's all I have for you. So thank uh, do you. do you use this hallway for court administration? I'm just I'm being fair. I'm trying to be yeah, fair. I'm trying to give you an answer to yes, this is considered courts. That's all. But but it's people do conduct court activity in all of this area. Attorneys meet with clients. There are people that have private conversations out in the hallway, so it's all inclusive. Damn, Sean, that was an awfully long pause. Did you fail to load your script? Is there judges here right now? There are. Is this judge here that wrote this? Is it the chief judge, Kevin Mark? Is he here? He does not office out of this building. He doesn't even work here? He doesn't office out of this building. He's the chief judge of the district, but he doesn't oh, office okay. out of this building. Gotcha. So I, I don't know. How can a judge hold you in contempt of court if you're not even in their courtroom? You know, I just I don't see how That's in a hallway... Questions. You know, how would I be held in contempt? Like, you're giving me an order here that's saying that my constitutional right of freedom of press, press gathering. I, I understand what you said about Prince. I get it. And, you, you know, the other reporters. Write a letter to Judge Mark to ask for his further. Yeah, I just I want to make sure. Yeah, just I need to have standing. So yeah, we just by. An answer for you. No, I just need to have standing in, in whatever I'm going to in whatever legal action I'm going to take here. Mm -hmm. So I need to have some standing. So what happens? What, what are you going to do if I don't stop recording? If I just exercise my rights peacefully and continue to record, what would you do at that point? It is potentially a contempt issue because it is an order that's issued by the judge. Yeah, so I need so to know what, what would happen. I, what I'm saying is, is if you have further question about what the judge intended, you can certainly write a letter to him and ask Judge Mark to clarify. I doubt he's going to answer me. I'm not going to have standing in the case. So if, I, if I'm charged with contempt or... Can I get your names just so I know? You Sergeant Pat Schwarzoff. And Deputy Pat Murphy. Pat Murphy, okay, and, and Schwarzoff. Um, yeah, no, I just need to have standing in these in these types of cases because, you know, maybe the journalist that came here before, I'm also an activist that I'm trying to, you know, create some change here. And You are no journalist and you certainly are no activist. In fact, activists are desiring to create change for the better. But as we shall soon see, you're trying to instill change for the worse whenever I show you why this order has gone through why it is necessary. But carry on. I don't see what's the issue about filming in a public hallway. It doesn't really make a big deal. Enforcing what the judge has said. I, and I understand, but if you're going to enforce it, hand me a paper, that's not enforcing it. Enforcing it is, you know, you telling me, hey, if you don't stop recording, we're going to arrest you. Are you a law enforcement officer? I am a law enforcement officer. Okay, so if, you, if you're going to go that, that. I, I if you, you don't want it, I, and, I, and I don't think you want to do that, but what I'm saying is if Sergeant, what I'm saying is that I don't want you to do that. I really don't. But I need to have some sort of standing in court. So if you're going to tell so I can fight this order as being unconstitutional, you understand? So if you're going to say... Yeah. No, you can, you can certainly... You know, so if you're, if you're going to tell me... I know, I understand it, but that's, you know, it's nothing personal against you. I get you're doing your job, Deputy. I'm, you know... And all we're doing is just informing me of what the judge... And, and I'm reading said. what the judge is saying. And, you know, like I said, if you're going to tell me, hey... I'm going to arrest you if you don't stop. Then I will gladly leave your building, and I can now I have standing because now I was threatened that I was going to be arrested, and now I can say, hey, listen, I was threatened and removed from a building because, but it doesn't have to get to the point where I'm arrested, right? It doesn't. Right. We, and when, when, <laughs> I don't, we both don't want it to get there. Listen to what I said carefully. Is that it could potentially be a contempt issue. We're informing you about what the judge's order is, and we're giving you that information. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you know where your uh, supervisor went? He walked in that next office over there, so I'm not sure who he went to. I understand that you're just handing me a, a, a judge's order. In some and some you I, just have to inform people about what the information is. And I see the judge's order. I just, I believe it to be unconstitutional. But if, if it comes to the point where I say, hey, listen, you know, you're going to be arrested if you don't mm -hmm. stop and leave immediately. Then I can take it to the, a higher court than this judge, and mm -hmm. we can try and work it out there. And that's that's the way I like to do it. I don't want to. I'm not going to resist you. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to, you know. I'll even stand over here if it makes you feel any that better. Would be helpful. You know. So I'm sure that my sergeant is just trying to get maybe some additional information. Clarification and stuff. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll stand over here, okay? So, just so. And that's what we our can, standing um, rule has always been for anybody from the news media that they okay. have to get specific information and specific permission from any of our local district judges even outside of judge mark so he's the one that gives he's the this is the this is the judge that gives the permission 
this is the judge that wrote the order. Okay. And then he's our head judge in the district. Mm -hmm. And so the other judges also have to follow his orders, but they can change those given in different circumstances. But there has to be a reason behind it. Okay. So All right. Do have Again, I just believe it. I just, I, I could understand in a courtroom. Mm -hmm. I mean, judges, you know, they have control of their courtroom and, yep. you know, but I just don't see the, we also, you know, we the, the, the have, purpose, you know. But we also have people that conduct court business out in the hallways talking to clients, attorneys talking with each other. So again, this whole area is considered part of the court administration. This the, whole, the whole hallway. The hallway and then we have courtrooms upstairs on the second floor. So again, court business can be conducted in these areas. On the second floor, and and yeah, there's a might, there's a basement here. There's a basement. That's where the law library is. Okay, and recording is, is is, is I, that? I don't know the rule in that circumstance because again, it's down at the law library, so that's where the access point is for people to search public record. Okay. So, but these floors yeah. where the court can be held. So, yeah. I just don't. It's very ambiguous. These the the orders are so ambiguous. You know, just like the law sometimes. You know. Oh, when here in a few minutes he's going to be showing that reference number where you can easily look up the piece of paper he's holding in his hand. You'll see how disambiguous it is and the rationale behind the whole thing. So, Sean, shut up and move along. You're in the wrong here, as always. It can kind of like, it's like you can make an argument either way, but in order to make that argument, you have to be in front of a a judge maybe not this judge because i doubt he would disagree with his own uh, order but you know maybe another judge a higher up judge a federal judge and that's you know that's all i'm trying to do here i'm not trying to give you a hard time just trying to affect a little bit of change we're trying to do government transparency yeah, that's all it i'm trying to do is inform you about the information that we've i get it i get what you're trying to do and that's why i stepped over here you know i appreciate it just trying to de-escalate situation and we can see what maybe he can get some clarification and we can move on yeah, that's all no, that sounds good Thank you, Deputy. Thank you. A little longer than a few minutes later. And that's a copy of the one order. There's also a notice that's here if you want to see that. Yeah. Well, that's more like a policy, though. Because it doesn't really have the order yeah. attached to it, does it? That's the This order. is the actual that's, order that's the for... This order. is this is the copy of order for this sign right Correct. here. Yeah. Gotcha. Still, just written a little bit more boldly so people can see it. Okay, gotcha. Understood. Now, let me ask you a question. Based on this order... How would you, you know, and this is why I think it's a little ridiculous, Deputy, only because it's like, if I came in here, right, yep. and I went like this, and I held my phone right here, yep. and you never saw that I was recording, and I didn't admit to you that I was recording, yep. and I walked around the whole publicly accessible areas of the building, yep. you know, you could never, you, you can't just grab my phone out of my hand and say, hey, you're, you're recording, you know what I mean? If, you, if, if you're like you secretly what, doing it, it's not. You know what, it probably wouldn't, <laughs> probably wouldn't be an issue. Though. Exactly, that's but what I'm we've saying. Had, we've had people in courtrooms that have tried to record proceedings and we don't know what their intent is when they make those recordings because again, they're only trying to take snippets of what may be relevant to prove their point. So, yeah, mm -hmm. again, I can see that. But it wouldn't be, a, yeah, in, in a court proceeding, I could see it being a little yeah. bit different again, but. I'm saying in the hallway, somebody walked around with, you know, it says audio and visual here. Right. So if somebody walked around with a camera, I mean, an audio recording device in their pocket, mm -hmm. and they just walked around, you know, and say I caught some lawyers talking with their clients, mm -hmm. you know, it wouldn't be, and I published that information, let's just say, to social media. Mm -hmm. I, it wouldn't be against the law to do any of those things, yeah. other than the fact that you would, because you didn't, you didn't, like, you know what I mean? People always say, oh, you know, if you commit any crime in secret, it's not against the law. But if I were to commit a robbery and then I go up to a police officer and I say, hey, I committed that robbery without you seeing me, mm -hmm. you're still going to go to jail. Oh, I murdered that person without you seeing me. But if I came up to a law enforcement officer and said, hey, I had a cell phone in my pocket and I was walking through the public areas of a courtroom, he's not going to do anything because there's nothing in inherently illegal about doing that. Yeah, See what I'm saying? Sometimes we'd have to question people's reason behind doing it. We don't know if their motive sometime in the future is to do some counter surveillance or anything else like that, which creates a security issue for us in the building because our requirements are to protect the people in this building when they're here for public business. Mm -hmm. Our job is to But that's what I'm saying. I'm outwardly, I'm outwardly recording and identify myself. My name's Sean. I'm an independent journalist. Mm -hmm. And that's an issue. But if somebody wanted to do harm to this building, they can record, you know, they have sunglasses that can record. They can get every information out of here without you knowing anything 
and use that for nefarious purposes. But because, and then it wouldn't be illegal. It wouldn't be illegal. And then because I'm doing it and I'm being a nice guy about it, it's like, hey, you know, you could possibly be held in contempt. Do you see like the, uh, I don't know, the, the double standard there? It's kind of like if somebody really, they're not going to come over here and say, hey, uh, just start walking around where everybody can see them. They're going to be like, secret button camera, secret, you know what I mean? And you I, never know. And they could never get in trouble for it because it's not against the law. What you're saying, yeah, so. I think I just want to make that point. It's well, just, and that's, that's, that's why I think these orders are silly. But, you know. Again, I get I get you're just doing your job. If you needed additional clarification, the only thing I can tell you is to write a letter to the judge and ask him for further explanation. Yeah. And you said he has an office here, but he doesn't. He, he does not have an office here, so he's the, the head district judge. Oh, yes, so, I'm sorry. So we have our district judges that are officed here, but not Judge Martin. Okay. Cause he's not the saying that he wouldn't be a visiting judge. Because he's the chief point. judge for Correct. the district, first judicial district. Correct. So it's a state court? Correct. Okay. Gotcha. So here is the order. He shows the paper, but you know none of his subscribers are going to look it up anyway. But I'm not one of his subscribers. I've been trained to do research. So here's what it's going to say. If you look in the top corner of that paragraph... It'll say Minnesota General Practice Order 4.01. Okay, now, so let's do the simplest bit of research and go actually go look this up. Okay, here you go. I'm just going to leave it paused here for a moment and let you guys take a look at it. Okay, and on the following page are given some of the rationales behind the judge's orders. And they are perfectly reasonable. So, Sean, why don't you shut up and move along? There's a good reason why these things exist. It's for protection of the parties involved with the trials that go on here. You blooming moron! And you can keep that copy. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. I just want to see... Um, I don't want to think that uh i'm trying to harass you or anything i'm just i'm just waiting to see if your supervisor had any and, more clarification that's yep, it and i'm waiting for him to come back also okay so he's getting some clarification yeah on something that if he can get some additional information for you yeah sure sure and then i can just walk out and then put my phone in my pocket and come <laughs> and then keep recording and say i'm not silly very silly. And that's all we can do. <laughs> I get it. I get it. People about what the judge has issued as far as the mm -hmm. order standing in the building. Gotcha. Well, for the next few minutes, they continue to talk until the supervisor comes back. And the supervisor tells them that he cannot film anywhere that's carpeted, which is basically most of the floor. Really, only the lobby is not carpeted. But, Sean, you've got to understand that there's reasons for these laws, reasons for the judge to do this. It's not for persecution's sake. It's for safety's sake, you blibbering idiot.